hello it's been a long time um now if you some of you guys don't know who i am i am jenny Daly, the groomers consultant um so what i'm coming to today for is first time puppies how do you introduce the clippers and everything now um i know i'm not talking to much of anyone <laughs> but i would love for you to tell me in the comments how you guys start out puppies do um i mean what is your method what is your thing do you feed them treats do you do clippers first then bath or how do you introduce them so the way i introduce puppies um i generally like to get a hold of them after they've had all their shots their um and I'd like to hope that, that mom and dad are going to consider bringing them in at least by 12 to 14 weeks. Um, so about three to four months old. This guy is six months old and has never been to a groomer, as you can see. Now, I've already washed and dried him um, because mom's normally one who does that. So I knew that he was going to be good with a bath, and he was, and he was very good with the dryer. So he's all dry, washed, and brushed out. Um, so I blow dried him. Now... The one fun thing that it comes to doing puppies is always trying to do their face, um, introducing clippers, um, things like that. So what I am going to do is live, going to show you how to, how I introduce them. Because you know, puppies are gonna throw their little tantrums, they're gonna do all those little things, they're gonna scream, cry, they're gonna do those kind of things. And so what you need to do as a person, you need to be strong. I know these things are absolutely adorable. Um, and we don't want to hurt them or anything like that, but I'm going to show you some tips and tricks along the way of how to avoid all those things um, and how to make this a much more pleasant. So he's already had a lot of the little um, spit and vinegar out of him <laughs> with the bath and blow dry. So this, that's why I usually will take them straight to the bath, wash and dry them, and then as I'm blow drying, I finish brushing and stuff like that because it wears the puppy out. Okay, so it wears them out, so it makes them a little bit more manageable at this stage. Um, and before he gets his second win, we're gonna get started. Now, um, I've recently bought um, a cordless battery-operated clipper that I have have grown to like. I do reach for it quite often, and it's pretty good for starting puppies because it is pretty quiet. I don't go right for the big ends with the, the vacuum or anything like that, or even my big clippers. I don't go for those just yet. I go for my little ones. Because the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right for those eyes. Now yes, I scoop out the eyes. Some of you are scissoring. I just can't do it. I've gotta get a clean, I've, I've scissored it and then I look at it going, this doesn't look right. It's gonna get in his eyes in like two weeks. I need it to last till the next groom. I need it to last at least four weeks before that dog needs to possibly see me again. So I'm gonna make sure that this is turned on and without even touching the puppy, I'm just gonna turn these on. What's that? What a good puppy. And we just leave them on. And I talk to the dog, I let them get used to it. Pop, 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 pop. What you doing? Oh, what a good puppy. So we just, this is just what we do. We, um, so puppies first grooms look like I'm playing with them more than I am grooming them. What a good puppy. Yes, yes. And then I'll bring them a little bit closer. Um, if the dog's going to be, like he's going to pull away from me. You can see down here I have a little uh, latch down here. So um, I'm going to latch him up just so that he can't get away from me. He can still move quite a bit. So what we're gonna do, again, turn these back on. So he's all hooked up. Um, so when I turned him on the second time, as you saw, he didn't pull away. Now, granted, this is his very first time. And so he's going to show some signs of not knowing what to do. But I hook them up like this so that they're pulling against themselves and not me. I'm not holding their leg. I'm not holding their beard because they aren't quite, quite used to that just yet. Um, and I just simply just pet them while I have the clippers running. I don't care if these batteries go dead. I don't care because that's not the case. These are pretty good about not getting too warm. Look at puppy. Yes. And so as I kind of get him used and more comfortable with this, I'm going to bring them over here. Now I'm not going to go straight for his head. I'm going to go for his shoulder and I'm just going to touch him 
And this is going to be, he's a pretty common reaction. What good puppy! What good puppy! And I just pretend like it's no big deal. So you can feel the vibrations, they're still on. So you can feel the vibrations. I start rubbing them all over. Nowhere so that the blades are going to um, clip them. Hi Trace, how are you? So we're just introducing clippers. This is all we're going to do. And we're just going to go until we feel that he's comfortable about it. What good puppy! Um, yes, get that high-pitched little squeal, that little voice, because this is the only time I ever do baby talk. This is the only time I ever do this stuff. Is, um, what a good pup. Yes, what a good puppy. Um, and you sound like a total idiot. I know. What a good puppy. So now I'm up around his face. And as you can see, I have those clippers away from him just because I want him to feel the vibrations. What a good boy. And I want him to know that he's being good. Okay. And so, this is how I introduce the clippers to puppies, and I just rub this over him. What well, good boy! Yay! And once they sit there long enough and be good, pull the clippers away, but still leave them on, okay? Because now i got to do the other side. So if some of you guys have horses, you all know that if you do something on one side, you got to do it on the other. Same thing, okay? Now, he's tied up again. What a good puppy! What a good puppy! No, no. So... This is, this is, this is what I mean by how we don't try to do any grooming right now. We're just getting him used to the clippers. What well, good boy! And see, it takes less than two seconds, and if you can hold them through that little tantrum, what a good boy. It doesn't, it just snaps real quick that they comes in and they go, oh, okay, I have to sit here for it. This is why I like starting puppies rather than trying to do some big, bigger dogs that have absolutely been able to get away with things okay so this is how like I said I start my puppies so again I just keep coming back oh what a good boy and so he takes this one a little bit better now this is apparently the side that he's going to throw a tantrum on and again he's hooked up guys so he's not being able to pull too far away and if he does pull he's pulling against himself I'm not grabbing his hair I'm not grabbing anything oh good puppy you guys can't see him down there can you so again, we're gonna keep coming in. What good boy! And all these are doing is just the vibrations. Okay. What good boy! What good boy! So you basically are petting them with the clippers until they get used to it. What good puppy! What a good puppy! Yes. What a very good boy! So now I think I'm game enough to try to go right for his eyes. Now these again are not hot at all. I can hold my hands up against them. Come here. What a good puppy! What a good boy! So again, we're going to get him used to this real quick. I'm going to have trouble with my phone, aren't I? What good boy. What good boy. So, we're going to just kind of go over all this. So he's already had these all used. And some puppies might take a lot longer to get to do this. And then I come in here real quick. <gasps> what a good boy. Yay, what a good puppy. Very good puppy. And then we're done. So. I'm not going to go with clippers to his face again until after, like, until I go further into the groom. But getting those eyes is usually always the first thing. Hi, what a good boy! And then we turn them off and we let him and praise him. So as you can see, we've got his eyes all cleaned up. I'll finish scissoring and stuff like that. Um, but those are usually the hard bits. Now, to tell you a story real quick, I had a four month old Shih Tzu Poodle dog puppy come in. She's got the Shih Tzu head, um, very shallow eye sockets. Her eyes literally look like bug eyes in her head. And any little bit of fighting that she would do, her eyes would start to bulge out and her blood, so because her blood pressure would come up, I'll tell you what, I was so afraid of this dog's eye popping out because of the pressure. It would just, any little bit of, of fighting or squiggling it would do, those eyes would bulge out and I was, because they're it's sitting in such a shallow eye socket, it, it would take nothing for that to happen. This little dog literally broke me for, it took me two hours just to do a bath and brush out and clean up in between its eyes because it was tearing so bad. What a good boy! And I'll tell you what, oh my god, that dog brought me to tears. I've got the video somewhere, but I can't, um, if you can only imagine, a dog bringing me to tears because 
I'm afraid of, of it's just biting me so bad. It took me so long. I told the mom, I said, you need to come every two weeks because I can't have this happen. So she now she's like the perfect angel. But um, so so we got that bit. Um, I can prob probably unhook uh, that bottom half. So now I just go and keep doing my little, my basic little groom. So I go to the butt and because, look at boy. And we always just keep reminding them that the clippers are just vibrating. Good boy. Very good. So remember, he's never had this done before, ever. He's never had a pair of clippers on him. And this is really good for a puppy. Like I said, he's about six months old and he's super tiny. What a good puppy, yes. So I'm not gonna throw that big uh, vacuum on my clippers like you see me do. What's that? So again, always remind them, okay? We're going to a new spot, like his belly. Always remind them that you go, know, the clippers when they turn on, that they vibrate. Good boy. Good puppy. And don't and make sure that when you book a puppy that you have time. That you're not gonna rush through everything. Um, I like to have puppies quiet, um, so it's just me and the puppy so they don't get distracted. So for those of you that are watching, um do you guys get many new puppies coming in? Um, if any, I mean, how often do you get a new puppy? Because I, I seem to get them all the time. And so I'm always, always introducing puppies to clippers and baths and things like that. Um, so tell me in the comments and let me know what, uh, if you guys get a lot of puppies or not. Because generally I don't like to go straight for haircuts on puppies. I like to bring them in for like a bath and tidy up where I introduce them to the clippers and the bath and then I do their butt, their belly and their their uh, their feet and their nails and then I send them home so they still have all their long puppy hair because moms usually still love that. So double checking the And one other thing, when I do puppies, I never guarantee that the haircut's going to look perfect at all never ever i always forewarn the mom i forewarn them and say they're going to be tired when they're all done that they're probably going to go home and want to sleep and um what a good puppy yes what a good puppy and always always stop every so often and just give them a little bit of a break and just pet and love because they're just like children they need to be reassured that everything's still okay because they're not with their mom or anything like that and um what a puppy yes yes oh what a boy so always always reminding them that they're they're good um even when they're bad i ignore it um so if they decide that they're going to throw some tantrums so i'm going to move this now back to a 40 because this has a three in one setting and we're going to go for the bottom of the feet so what you see here doing the face the butt the belly and the feet. This is what I would do for our very first timer if I wasn't doing, um, and it was a lot younger. So obviously they wouldn't have this much hair. A oh, good puppy. And you find that if you can hold them through their first few little tantrums, like you saw in the beginning of this video, um, they do this right here. I, I hardly ever have a problem with them later on throughout the groom because I set real quick already my authority without being a big authority big meaning so um if you guys popped in later on this you guys can go back and re-watch this video um and so you guys can see how i started out in the beginning what a good puppy and yes people of that stand outside the trailer when i'm doing a puppy they say i sound retarded um, <laughs> because they can hear me from outside. But one of the things is, even if the puppy likes to, if the puppy wasn't standing here for this, I'd be sitting here holding the button doing this little bit. Um, 
putting those clippers up against the dog, trying to get them used to it anytime because I know some of you guys are coming in. If you guys saw this um, in the beginning, he was throwing a lot of little hissy fits, and I showed you how to pull through that. And I do that with every single dog. Okay, guys, I know um, some people don't like that, but I I do hold them through and put that little bit of pressure on them in the sense of they're gonna do what I'm gonna do. Like he wants to pull away. I have these on I'm not gonna turn them off I'm actually going to bring him closer and if he wants to pull away I'll hook him up but um, I didn't want to do that so well, I'm gonna hook him up because the last thing I want to be doing on a puppy like this is pulling on his joints because they're not fully formed okay so there's actually still a space so we have the bone and the joint there's actually a lot of space in between there because at the bottom of the joint there's also another space because they still are growing okay you start pulling and, and stuff like that on a young dog that's not fully developed and everything like that you can very easily pull things out of whack and then it grows once it finally heals you can kind of I find sometimes that's how they get turned out feet and things like that because somebody's grabbed and, and pulled and yanked that's not always the case okay but I have found that that can be um, something that if they started out grooming when they were really really young and someone had pulled on joints and things like that but so I want to avoid pulling on anything on him if he's gonna pull he's gonna pull right here at the at his neck where I have him hooked up here and down here there's a leash down here and he's gonna pull against himself so he's gonna realize that I'm not the one doing it a good puppy yes and sometimes just I go back and forth because I don't want to totally rely on this. I want him to understand and realize that, um, good boy, what a good puppy, that he needs to know how to do this without it. So again, I still have his foot. I have not let go. Okay. I'm going to turn him so that he's facing in the direction I want. Because if they can learn to get out of your hands, if they learn that they can cry and you're going to immediately let go, um, that's where they learn those bad habits. Okay, guys, we want to avoid any bad habit. So these dogs are actually a pleasure to groom and not a nightmare to groom. Easy. Easy. Good puppy. So he was bad for this side of his face. So I'm only assuming he's going to be bad for this side of his feet. A good puppy. Yes. A good boy so so now I have done his face I've done his belly I've done his butt and I've done the bottom of his feet so that would be what I would do I'm just gonna I would scissor those up scissor around his eyes and send him out the door but today he's getting a full haircut um, because he's six months old this is a lot of hair for his mom he's starting to get knots and tangles and mom can't can't do it anymore um, so, um, now I am probably going to start doing my, my big clipper work. Um, and she wants an inch long on him. So when you have a lot of hair, and again, I'm not going to use a clipper back on him. I'm not going to expose him to that just yet. Um, because, well... It's just going to be a bit much, as much as I don't like doing it. What good puppy! Yes! What very good puppy! So, on long coats, you want to make sure you have all those knots taken out because we're going to go over this real quick, okay? And remember, I do not guarantee that puppy haircuts look perfect unless that dog is like really well behaved, okay? It's usually the second or the third time is usually where, um, they're going to behave. So again, these are big clippers. They're going to sound completely different to him. What are these? Tommy. Good puppy. Yes, a very good boy. That's a very good boy. So again, we reintroduce everything. And if they jump up on you, just put them back down. You don't really need to worry too much. What a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. And so 
I just pet them with them. Oh boy. We're just going to wisp everything off. When you're not using the clipper vac, you do want to take nice long strokes. That's why you want to make sure there's no knots or anything, because when you hit a knot, you're going to actually cut that spot shorter. I got puppy. And prep work always is a huge, huge thing in my book. You want to have a nice looking groom, you need to have really nice clean dogs. Oh. Now, on these puppy haircuts, you can make your judgment call whether you um, take all that leg or I'm going to try to turn this for you guys a little more so I'm, you're not going to see my face talking but you're going to at least hear me. So, um, good boy. On these legs, um, you can make the judgment call if you want to leave them fuller or if you're going to take them off all one length. Um, I think I'm going to probably leave these a little on the full side, so I'll just blend that off. Um, because mom, mom was really crying over the fact that I was, you were cutting all the hair. It's like baby's first haircut. Um, they, they get, they get worried that it's like never going to grow back. Good puppy! Very good. Very good. I do like to hold my puppies up sometimes to get the, a nice a nice haircut. If they're being too wiggly or flat pancakes, I like to hold them up um, as so, so that I can get... And everything is just kind of wisping right off. So I'm kind of coming to this, these legs and I'm just wisping right off. And so I'll do most of my work with a big comb or the big comb attachment and then I will dwindle my way down to a shorter one. So I always start longer and then I go shorter and shorter as I need it. What a good boy! So the back end is usually the easiest bit to get, do. It's always the front end that we tend to probably have some problems because, well, we have the leash in the way, it's something scary around their face. good puppy and so he's starting to show a little bit of timidness and we're just going to keep talking to him again I don't play into going it's okay poor baby it's okay stay away from those words those are those are the things that will kill your dog that you're trying to build some confidence in um, I, have, I avoid saying those words at all costs so again we're gonna come up here good puppy you always want to encourage the things that he's doing well. So now he's standing on his own. He's not leaning into me or anything like that. Oh, good boy. Yes. A oh, very good puppy. So, again, I always turn those clippers on away from the dog and then I'll bring them in. Again, reminding that the dog, that, that they do, uh, they do groom. And I don't, as you see, I don't generally do that on every dog you see me groom. I usually just go right for it. But this is a puppy that has never had been groomed before, so it's it's a whole new ball game. What good puppy! Very good. You know, there's a few little knots and tangles down here that I've obviously missed. Good puppy, yes. Oops. And you don't need to, this is puppy hair. We do not need to run on high speed. So high speed is meant more for those hard to groom dogs, really thick coats. This is puppy hair. This is to go through like a butter with a hot butter knife. Or how's that say? Goes, should be a knife, hot knife that goes through butter. There you go. <laughs> oh, good puppy. Very good. Come here. So, I 
don't have anything on him, so this is a, a new thing I'm asking him to do. Because I'm now going to have to kind of hold his head. Go puppy! Very good boy. So reassure that he's doing good when they're not pulling. So it's not uncommon for my first grooms to take about two hours to do these guys. Because again, I'm going slow. I'm not rushing. I have no, I don't, I don't have another dog coming in or anything like that. Good puppy! And we're just introducing Clippers. And he's taking this quite well. And did I not mention that I don't promise that puppy haircuts ever turn out perfect? What good boy! So, we just keep rotating them around. Good puppy! So, because I don't want to quite get to that head and cut those ears. Oh, good puppy! And again, I'm just gently holding him because I don't want him... I'd like to not have to hold him really tight when I have to, he gets older. And his puppy hair gets so thin and wispy. It's hard, it's not the easiest to work with. And when I do puppy coats, I usually, I'll do the normal, normal clarifying shampoo, um, my sandy bars. But on wispy thin puppy hair, I like to use volumizing shampoo just to help give it that lift. And right now, my favorite stuff to use is the eye groom volumizing. Um, and it's really, really nice. I find that I can get the coats much, much straighter with that stuff rather than um, anything else. Way to go, puppy. Very good. And he is doing absolutely wonderful. And I'm finding out that these aren't wanting to cut. Do you ever get that problem? You get that, uh, <laughs> when, when using a clipper vac, you don't get that problem. This is the problem that I don't like. Look up, puppy! Yes! What a good puppy! Where are you going? Where are you going? What a good boy! Again, we're gonna boy. So I always, again, remind them. Good puppy. And so what blade I'm using is the Oster's 1 inch or 25 mils. What a good puppy. Stand him up and do his belly. Good boy. So I initially will go down just to get those little wispies that I can't get. And right up the middle, I do like to take these backwards so I can clean up right around that sanitary area that I just did. And I like to come up in between those armpits. So I do have. And I, I literally, I'm going in reverse, guys. I know I am with the, the clipper blades. And I like to get that um, right there where their arm meets the body. I like to come in there and just dip in there. That helps me give them that little bit of an angle. And I like to take the chest a little short anyways. And I just find this easier to get all those little wispies because if I go down, I, I struggle too much. So... You guys always wonder what it looks like if you go in reverse. It doesn't look too bad. So, I know my phone's not the greatest for, for cameras and everything like that. But, um, and because we're just doing a simple little puppy cut, I'm not really going to go down his legs just yet. And, if you guys all know, I like to do my teddy bear heads. Um, I keep them simple. I really don't uh, don't try to get too too elaborate. So 
I always do that top half going with. Gives you the head. So I don't really go into the beard, I'm just doing that side. Okay, you can just see that little side area. And if you guys want to see how I do this, I have another video. Um, uh, easy and simple ways of doing the teddy bear head. So I got a couple different ways. Easy. Good boy. So this was always the bad side that he was not the greatest for. Good puppy. Nope. So we're just going to quickly do this. I like to go over it even if he's going to be a little troublemaker on it. Good boy. Because he's going to have to learn sometime. Good boy. Very good. Very good. Now, he's just got too much beard for me. And I like to always take that bottom half beard short. So I'm going to go to a half comb, which is probably my favorite one I like to do. Come here, Papa. So I probably will put that back on. Just to remind him. Huh, what a good boy. What's that? What a good puppy. You're a very good puppy. So, before trying to cut, always, again, it's with puppies, just always remember to come in and remind them that they vibrate. What a good puppy. What really helps is when mom has done a very good job at least brushing and keeping everything, um, keeping everything not free. I like to clean up that throat latch quite a bit. And again, with puppies, this is usually all this hair right here behind the ears or just underneath it always gets matted. Okay. So I have it. I'm just going to go ahead and scoop it out. Oh, good puppy. So, so I just want to rough everything in right at the moment. And I'll scissor the rest of this. What a good puppy! Yes! Very good! So, we pretty much have got this. Um, just a second, guys. It'd just be a few more minutes, okay? His mommy's here already, and I haven't called her. Don't you hate when that happens? So, we're going to go ahead and he's probably not going to cooperate for me anymore. But at least I hope that guys explains how I start at least the clipper work. Um, because if they're really good with the clippers, they usually are pretty good with the scissors and everything like that. If you want to see how I do my teddy bear heads, you can jump over to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe because then you'll always be able to catch up on any new ones that I put up there. I try to, um, what I do here live, I do try to put over there so that you guys can find it a whole lot easier because I know it gets lost in this, this feed and everything like that. So if uh, you guys, like I said, want to do that, I'll also put a link in here. You can go over to the YouTube channel and look for the t uh, uh, Easy Teddy Bear uh, Teddy Bear Fairs and you can see how I do that. So I'm going to let you go so I can finish him because his mom's here. Bye guys.